How's everybody doing today? I bought some uh, storage uh, drums, 55 gallon drums. There's several different kinds out there. You got blue barrels that have a like a three inch bung on the top that you can thread a pump into or whatnot. Or they have one that has a ring around it, you can take the whole lid off. I found some uh, that are kind of older school ones considered to me, I guess. My parents used to have them. Uh, they have a, about a 16 inch screw off top. There, I'll show you 55 plastic drum. So, I bought a few of those because I've been buying five gallon buckets that have a seal and they screw on and they've got a latching system to keep them tight and secure. And those things get pretty pricey pretty quick. They're nice, they're super nice and do a good job, but um, I'm gonna try to do a little more storage. And with these drums, I can put um, just bags of food or water or whatever in them. They're food grade, so they're all good for that. Um, and it'll save me a lot of money because I can put so much in there in one drum and it'll keep um, moisture and uh, they seal pretty good. And not, uh, you know, rodent can't get in there. So, uh, But what I did find is these are from... See if we can see it on here. Uh, grease. So, bringing them home, I just didn't think much of it. When I pulled the lid off, I think uh, there's pepperoncinis in these, possibly. They each come with a uh, seal that goes in here as well. So, it's not horrible. I mean, I like pepperoncinis, but uh, it is pretty strong. So, you know, if I to put water in there, um, it's going to have a little flavor. And any kind of food, like a rice, that isn't in a sealed bag will absorb that flavor. Um, they are steamed out when, uh, from the place I bought them from. But I don't think they cleaned them other than just steaming them out. So, I got a big gallon of dish soap, filling them up about a third of the way quarter to a third away with water and dish soap in there quite a bit of dish soap rolling it around rolling it around putting putting the lid on sealing it up and laying them on their side and then every day after work I'll come out here and roll them and roll them and roll them so the soap gets all the way around the whole drum for a few days let it sit in there um, kind of eat that oil out of the plastic as much as I can with the with the dish soap and then I'll pressure wash them back out when I'm done and hopefully I'm not going to get rid of it completely, I'm sure, but hopefully get some more of it out. But uh, if you're looking into doing some kind of food or storage or whatnot, um, if you can find these barrels food grade, um, I think I paid 30 bucks a piece for them. They're a little bit higher than normal right now, but everything is. And uh, But compared to those five-gallon buckets, you can get way more in here for way cheaper, so... Check it out. Um, leave me a comment if you have a better way, something uh, that works better, maybe holds more. Um, hit that thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, and uh, hope everybody's doing well.